everybody, my name is Snake Eyes BP1980 on the PlayStation 4 system, Xbox 360 system, and PC. We are uh, not cook, uh, not uh, doing uh, video games today. We are doing cooking with Snake Eyes BP1980. Uh, today we're going to do a little change of pace or whatever. We're going to be doing a little uh, thing for Alfredo. Uh, we're going to do some Alfredo. We're going to do, uh, uh, do some noodles. And that's pretty much where we can go on this at this moment. But you can add more ingredients if you really want to. You can add meat with it if you really want to. You can uh, put a little uh, vegetables in your life. You can do that too. But uh, we're just going to do it with this stuff here. Come a little closer and see what we're going to do next. All right. As you can see, we have uh, water inside this container. We filled it about maybe up to halfway or a little bit more than half. Uh, what you want to do is you want to boil, uh, boil this up to uh, get this water boiling. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on high and let it boil. And then we're going to add either one of the, uh, the, the mini greeny or the, this uh, thing here. I'm going to go with this here first and then we're going to uh, once the water gets boiled up we'll dump this in there and then we go 15 minutes uh, of cooking uh, these and then we're going to dump the water and then we're going to add this into uh, along with the uh, softened uh, mini maglini so if you guys want to uh, enjoy this uh, just enjoy watching what's going to happen next all right, so now we got this thing boiling. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open this up and we're gonna dump the whole box in. Now, this is only if you really wanna do a full, uh, full, you know, feed family of two or three or whatever. But if you're not gonna feed a family of two or three or whatever, uh, my suggestion is just cut down the box a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and dump all of that in. Now, now we're going to set this thing for 15 minutes and then pretty much tone down the heat a little bit more to medium high and then let it cook for 15 minutes. Uh, we'll be right back after uh, 15 minutes up and we'll uh, go from there. So hang on tight and keep watching. All right, we are now 10 minutes into the cooking and we're doing some stirring. Uh, I want you to know that you cannot allow these noodles to stick on the bottom of the pan because, well, it might even burn the pan itself. So you may want to stir occasionally every five minutes uh, if you can or uh, occasionally every three minutes if possible intervals of trying to cook while you're cooking as you can see they're already starting to break apart and um yeah so after you, we get done with this and uh dump some of the water out then we go ahead and we're going to dump uh this into there and let it cook for another maybe um two minutes three minutes somewhere in there uh and then it will be completely done uh, like I said before, you could actually add more food uh, into this, like uh, some meats. Uh, you can throw in vegetables or, or whatever you want to add into it. Uh, the only suggestion I can uh, give you is to, to make it simple. Don't, don't go too rough on it. Uh, don't add spices because Alfredo sauces are, already has the spice in it. Um, so... Um, my only suggestion is if you want to spice things up, put the spice in the meat. Like if you have ground beef and you want to cook it up, put your spices in that and then put it in with, uh, afterwards, uh, when you get done cooking with your ground beef. Uh, so, uh, that's the only suggestion I can give you guys for this, uh, for this whole situation. This is just plain simple, easy one, two, three steps. Uh, so yeah, we'll be back again to stir again. Uh, well, actually, we'll be back at the end of this boiling point uh, when the buzzard's going off, so that you guys can see what the next step is. Remember to keep stirring every so often on here, so that the noodles do not stick on the bottom of the pan. Hello? I'm hearing it. Give me a moment.
All right, so now it is done boiling. We're gonna turn that off for now, but we're gonna put this on like so, and then we're gonna dump it. You guys are gonna miss this part, but we're gonna come right back and then go from there. So we're back. We're gonna go ahead and dump all of this in if we're able to. Hard enough to get all of that out so we're gonna have to use a spatula or you just shake it all out um, we're gonna get a spatula and we'll be right back Okay, so now we got a spatula. Now we got to get really into this sucker and then work it out. As I'm going to put you guys over my shoulders so that you can actually see what I'm trying to do. And that looks clean. Now we're going to just put this off to the side for the time being and then stir for the rest of this. Now we kind of leave, leave the heat. We turned off the heat and let it, letting it uh, cool down, but we're it's at the same time still cooking the food. Uh, but after two minutes or three minutes, it should be done. Uh, we'll see you at the end of the light uh, this uh, video. So hopefully we'll see you then. Keep watching. All right, now the two minutes are up, and basically we'll just go ahead and spoon us uh, uh, some of this food up and it looks pretty good uh, i do have to say so myself and as you can see it is really good so hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh what is this alfredo um oh, oh what is it called just alfredo uh fettuccine uh mm. even though it's got uh That's like rigatoni. those rigatoni or whatever uh stuff in it so hopefully you guys enjoy the content or whatever uh do come back and see me next time uh next uh, uh next month or whatever we'll be doing some other cooking videos so if you want to come and see that enjoy that as well until then come back see me next time bye for now <laughs>